everybody. This is Faith from Faith Biz Academy, and we in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to make use of these amazing custom Canva frames, Halloween themed, created by Amy Hook Ireland of Digitally Made for You, included in our treasure box for your Canva creators. Okay, giving you an I ideas of how to quickly make use of these to create stuff for other products. Okay, so let's dive in now. These Canva frames, okay, as in case you are not too familiar of what they do. Okay, let me just change it to white background. Okay, you can click on the frame. Now, you see this uh, blue image with the clouds and the green field, right, or the hills. So let's just choose a glitter. Okay, I'm just going to search for glitter. So what's going to happen is if I, sorry, under elements, I'm going to search for glitter. Um, I'm actually trying to look for glitter digital papers. Okay, you could download them from Creative Fabrica. You could uh, generate using AI. Basically, these frames allow you to drag and drop images into it. So not graphics, but photos, images. Okay, so you see, I could just drag and drop and I could create this glittery bat. Okay, which is so cool, which is so cool. Super easy, glittery bat. Okay, in fact, let just, let's just do this. Okay, what I'm gonna do is just gonna give you some ideas on how to use these Canva frames. So if you already have, let's say, a Halloween themed planner, then you could use these and embellish the and use it to design or add on as graphics and embellishments to your halloween themed planner which is super easy now what i want to show you is that you can also use these to create um seamless digital papers okay uh this one is actually in 1080 by 1080 i think this is fine this size is fine what i want is actually a square grid so i'm just going to randomly place them okay and Ctrl D to duplicate. Randomly place them like this. Okay, I could make some smaller and some bigger. Okay, and click, to, I'm sorry, maybe one more up here, Ctrl D here. I'm trying not to touch the edges. Now I need to tell you why, but just a while. Okay, this one I'm probably gonna just leave it as that. Um, Click to drag to select multiple items. Control D to duplicate. And let's just do this again. Okay. And maybe one more time. Control D to duplicate. Okay. So I'm very mindful of the ones that are actually going to jut out of, of the page, of the edge of the page. Okay. Now, this is what you have to be really careful with. Okay. I'm just going to delete this. Now, here... I'm going to shift it to the side, okay? So you can see that um, we have this pink lines that's coming up, right? So if you want to do a seamless digital paper, it means whatever that, whatever images that are jutting out of the edge, they have to have their partner or the, the, the complementary side on the opposite side. What do I mean, right? So if I have it right here, then what I really need to do is, let me just delete this as well. What I need to do is this one, I have to duplicate and I have to put it right here also. Okay, now it is really difficult if it's not divided equally. So let me just try that again. I'm going to find a midpoint of the bat, this one. I'm going to shift it until the pink line appears. And now you see that on the right hand side of the white square, there is a pink solid line that appears telling me that now this bat is equally cut into half. And that is good. I'm going to let it go, duplicate it and just following through. Okay. To make sure that you see the pink light lines tell me that this is on par on the same level as the one that's already cut in half. Okay. And then now I'm going to shift it until I find that pink line, pink solid line. Do you see that pink solid line on the left hand side of the white square? Now this tells me now this bat is now proportionately halved. Okay, so when we were to piece it together, it will become seamless because this half matches with this half. Okay, so likewise, if I want it to happen at the top and bottom, that is what I need to do also. But let me just try to shift things. I am trying to be a bit lazier here by not doing so much 
<laughs> okay, let's just see what we can do. Maybe have a baby bat here. Okay, something like that. And then I'm going to duplicate this, okay? Holding down the shift key to uh, choose more than one item. Ctrl D to duplicate. And now shifting it up here to fill up the white space. Okay, and they are aligned. But now I've really got to make sure that they are equally, I mean, it is in a, an even half, right? So I'm trying to move the bat until I see that pink line. Okay. And this should be it. Let's see, this should be it. Okay, this should be it. Now, this is just one, what do you call it? One cube, one square of the digital paper that I want to create, but we still need to piece it together. So here we go, okay? And now I'm going to go to, and of course you can even add uh, background colors. Now, because I have Canva Pro, it then allows me to download as transparent background, which is what I would prefer for now. I'm just going to download page three, which is this one transparent background, click done, and give it some time to download. Um, yeah, let's just leave it as this, give it some time to download. Actually, I changed my mind, I want to resize it, because it's much easier if I have, okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, scratch that. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go into a new file, create a new design, custom size 3600, by 3600 okay and create a new design and then i'm going to import that beautiful butterflies butterflies bats beautiful bats upload the file remember png with transparent background now because it's transparent background it will allow me to change the background colors which will be very cool okay look at that if i were to change the background to black <gasps> Nice, right? The, the the glittery just really, really stands out. Okay, so let's stick with black for now and I'm just going to shrink it down. Okay, so what I'm going to do is perhaps make it into quarters. Okay, just do it like this, 1800 by 1800. You see that little black rectangle. W, 1008, H, 1008. It actually tells me the dimensions of this particular square of uh, bats okay and then i'm going to duplicate it and put it right here and they should technically match okay if they don't match properly oh this looks like a hmm i think i didn't do too good a job here so you see that there is this disconnect right but this one at the bottom fits really nicely okay this one at the bottom fits really nicely and then I'm going to click to highlight both again and duplicate and move it down like this. So there we have it. So technically this is seamless pattern. This is what I mean, right? So even if I were to download this again and I were to piece more of these cubes together, these squares together, it's going to form a seamless pattern. Okay, and that is one idea for you. This is how you can make use of Amy's uh, amazing, fun, custom Canva frames for Halloween theme, okay? So drag and drop images, uh, drag and drop different digital papers, and even use it to create seamless digital patterns for yourself. Um, and you can even use these as graphics to add on to the different other things that you create, like gift tags, or Halloween planners, or party invites, okay? Now, one other thing to note, is that other than dragging and dropping images, you can actually just change it by color. Okay, I could really just replace it with a solid color. And that's it. That is also possible. Okay, that's also possible. So I could have just solid colors. Okay, in this case, I might even change it like this. So it's a mix of, um, it's a mix of glittery bats and also solid colored bats, which is pretty cool too, right? And then you can just do, uh, I just really hope that it will give you a bit more ideas on how to use this custom camera frame. So have fun using and I will see you around. <music>